Hi guys and welcome to another video with the Easy K Breezy. Today we have an abandoned funeral home for you guys. I'm not sure when it stopped being used as a funeral home, but I do know that briefly after it was used for someone who was running for local election and now it's not used by anybody. Let's get into the explore. So we have some water damage here on the stairs above this nice little chandelier. You can actually see the water forming and dropping. There's hydro here, which is a cool factor, I guess. Um, let's get through the tour, I guess. So over the hundred plus years that this place has been around, because it is a pretty old building, uh, a lot of people had to say goodbye to their loved ones here. I'm going to keep the name of this funeral home out of this video because, well incognito mode <laughs> um, there is a room downstairs which I'll probably finish with that has um, some cupboards and cabinets and that's where they would have done a lot of the final touch-ups on people for their funerals private viewing room I'm not sure, maybe for wakes or smaller gatherings, get-togethers. I'm sure this was a lot nicer before it was painted white. See, I was lucky. I found the side door open when I came by here. But at some point, uh, somebody smashed out a back door, and then it looks like they went through and removed these doors right here and then boarded that up um, I guess for larger gatherings they have this larger room over here like I said there's hydro we got some bit of graffiti in here from whomever had done I guess the back door. There we go, right there. Some nice chandeliers. I think this is to circulate air. This is definitely to hide the duct. Work and circulate air. Mm. Got another private viewing room over here. I'm not gonna mention the guy's name who was running for election. Hello? Is anybody here? Hmm. Neat little sign-in pad over here that I missed, but thanks to my buddy pointing out this is a really cool feature. <laughs> Christmas decoration. I should probably turn off my light yeah all right now where do I go employees we have a kitchen obviously this is not very very old it's not new either but it's in really good shape Ooh. 
door goes out on the fucking roof. Hang ten. Fuck back in here though. Back down the stairs. I'll come into this room in a minute. Go around this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the other room also, like I said, in a minute. Not sure what had been on the carpet for so long that it's got that fading and all kinds of traffic here. <laughs> All right, let's get some of that. That's some more damage. Just mostly paint peeling. Even though the furnace here works, it's not turned on presently. I presume this is where the coffin would have sat. One of these ugly, horrible stains on the carpet. Uh, air conditioners. Lots and lots of traffic. Oh, another flight of stairs. See now, there's some sort of haggardy patching going on here. That's just a section of drywall cut in there. I presume whoever had done um, the original funeral home here, unless this had started its life as a funeral home, because I feel like it might have been a residence. It's really hard to gauge. You can hear the smoke detector, which is not what I'm filming right now, but this is cool. You can hear the batteries in it dying. Hello. <laughs> That's a 2x4 railing. I presume this had been a bedroom. Very small. And this had been a washroom. You can tell the toilet had been there. And a sink. And well, a mirror. Not every switch works, but whatever. I'm not complaining. Any hydro is better than no hydro. This light was already on. So I'm trying to get no, nope, it came from that way. Let's go this way. Try to get in the habit of turning off anything that you turn on. Leave everything as you found it. So basically, this room is a duplicate of the room downstairs, just a different color. And I guess we have the contours of the roof. Which have light balances across and across. An old thermostat here. Honeywell. Honey, well, I just love exploring. Radiator heater stuff behind this. Okay, you see it through there? Uh, let's work our way downstairs, guys, and we'll get to the basement. Uh, like I said, unfortunately here, there isn't like a body slab or a gurney or anything as cool as that. But there is a room and... You could tell it was definitely for medical practices and or purposes. Uh, we have a storage closet. We got a few keys here. Some old Domino's boxes. Hmm. Turn that off. And now I guess the highlight, if you could call it that, would be where they would prep the bodies. Um... I was really, really, really hoping that there was going to be a slab here. And unfortunately, like I said, there isn't. Um, I know some of you guys may have seen um, like a sneak peek of another hospital deal, but that's a separate building from this place. And that was a surgery table. Soap dispenser key. Old sink. I'm not exactly sure what that would be from, but obviously this room was made this way so they could shampoo 
slash like deep disinfect and clean it like pretty easily um but yeah i guess that's almost gonna wrap it up i got a couple more rooms down here that you guys could just take a peek at and then we'll just close out this video quickly um we got ladies washroom Nice sink, regular toilet. Sad. The further I get down this hallway, the more it smells of, um, well, I guess death. This room says no smoking. I'm not sure what kind of chemicals or whatever they use, but it's like the HVAC room. And for some reason, <laughs> this room smells like shit. <laughs> like it fucking stinks. Like I smell down all of the hallways. But I wanted to show you guys, so I did. Another viewing room. Yeah, don't mind him, he shoots things. <laughs> Funeral home party, guys. Alright, well, I can't remember if there's a mirror anywhere. I guess we'll just close it out right here. Thanks for tuning in to the Abandoned Fever Home Explore, guys. I appreciate any comments or feedback on these videos. And stay tuned, we got lots more to come.